Officials are targeting those people. Elise Marin has more on the story. In Washington State, Dave Purchase has taken the AIDS problem into his own hands. From a street corner in Tacoma, he passes out clean needles to IV drug users in exchange for dirty ones. Although it's illegal, the police don't interfere. Needle exchange. You give me an old one, you give me an old one, I'll give you a new one. New York has an official needle exchange program with 34 drug users enrolled. If we don't do something radical with this disease, we're not talking about a disease that's a mild disease, we're talking about something that kills. The El Paso County Health Department is already working with IV drug users to encourage them to use safer practices, like using bleach to rinse their needles before injecting the drug into themselves or sharing their needle with someone else. And the next step, of course, would be looking at, at the needle exchange program. Those exchange programs have been spectacularly successful in Great Britain, Scotland, Canada, Amsterdam. There's no reason they shouldn't work here. But Springs police are reluctant to endorse a program that could encourage drug use. And so we'd have to look at a specific program and it would have to have sufficient safeguards built in that it did not appear to be condoning or encouraging the use of dangerous drugs. Curbing AIDS without encouraging drug use is a double-edged sword, one El Paso County might have to draw sooner or later.